Let's now look at the case where the pipe is closed on one end and open on the other. And you can see from the diagrams the style of the standing wave produced. On the closed end, we have to end at a node, and on the open end, we must end at an antinode. So our fundamental or longest wave is given by this first picture, and then we just keep adding an additional node to get the first and second overtones. Let's work out what the wavelength is for each of the standing waves we see pictured. Our fundamental wavelength shows exactly a quarter of a wave contained in this pipe. So that would make the wavelength 4L. We know it's a quarter of a wave because it starts at the equilibrium point down where my hand is and ends at the first crest, which is a quarter of a wave. Now what about the first overtone, lambda 1? Now we can see from the picture that I start at equilibrium, I go to my first crest, back to equilibrium, there's half a wave, and then down to the first trough. So we've got three quarters of a wave inside that length, or we can write it as one length equals three quarters of a wave. So if I take that and I solve it for lambda, I get lambda one is four thirds L. Now if we repeat the same analysis that we did with the pipe that was open on both ends, we'll continue on and we'll find that the last wavelength, lambda 2, is 4 fifths L. Now why is that? Inside this pipe, I've got a crest, a trough, and then it goes up to another crest. So there's one full wave for the crest and the trough, and then an additional quarter. So one length contains one and a quarter waves, or 5 fourths of a wave. And if I solve that for lambda, I get lambda 2 is 4 fifths L. Now if I jump to my frequency column, remembering that frequency is velocity divided by wavelength, and if you recall, the velocity must stay constant because it's a medium that's consistent from pipe to pipe, and if the medium doesn't change, the velocity doesn't change. So our fundamental frequency will just be V over lambda 0, and we know that lambda 0 is 4L. So we get V over 4L, and I'll put that in blue to highlight that's our fundamental. F0 is V over 4L. Similarly, F1 is velocity over wavelength. So V, and in this case the wavelength is 4 thirds L, and I'll plug that in below. I don't like fractions in the denominator, so when I simplify this expression, I get F1 is 3V over 4L. And I've circled V over 4L because this is in fact the same thing as F0. So F1 is 3F0. And if we go to F2 and do the same procedure, F2 is velocity over wavelength, wavelength in this case being 4 fifths L. Again, simplifying it, I get velocity is 5V over 4L, and lo and behold, there's my V over 4L again, which is F0. So F2 is 5F0. So notice the pattern. I get F0, 3F0, and 5F0. I'm only getting every other frequency. So in this case, the allowable frequencies for a pipe that is open only on one end are F0, 3F0, 5F0, 7F0, etc.